Welcome, I'm Hannah, your instructional coach. In this short video, we'll talk about how to get started with Codable. There's only two steps. Before we start, make sure that you have your teacher account set up with your classes and students. Now, let's get into it. Step one, set up devices. If your students are using iOS devices like an iPad, you can download the free app from the App Store. For all other devices, students will log in using a web browser, so just make sure there's internet. Step two, get students logged in. Students need a class code to play. This code is like a class password that unlocks the codable game. After they enter the class code, they simply need to find their name on the list and click it. That's it, they'll be logged into Codable and ready to go. We know getting started with a new program can be a lot to process, so here's a few tips to make it easier. We automatically unlock the available Codable game levels when you sign up. This means that once students are logged in, they can start coding right away. Scaffolded levels gradually increase in difficulty, and creative projects allow students to apply their newfound knowledge in a personal way. You will see students quickly catch on, get engaged, and make progress right from the start. There's no prep required from you. If you think you'll want more structure for that very first time you teach with Codable, we've got you covered. You can find student videos, lesson plans, and slide decks on your teacher dashboard. These resources cover all the background info you might want to share with students during their first session. Integrating computer science in your classroom is an easy way to increase student engagement and motivation. The codable game levels, videos, and lesson plans are all designed to foster critical thinking and creativity skills while also being super fun. If you need anything along the way, send us a message. We're here to help. Happy coding! Anytime I get a vote, I fix my code!